What's good, YouTube? Vacasa Kavi here. So, we're diving into a request from Malcolm. This is Rodriguez, Crucify Your Mind. Excited to get into another new artist on the channel for you guys. We get into some amazing music on here. You guys always request stuff that has very deep lyrics, and we get to discuss many topics inside of the world and help each other out with the problems that we are going through in life. It's a very beneficial thing for everybody that can come on here and be here for each other have a place where they can feel safe to talk about what they're going through if they feel like they can't talk to their direct surroundings about it sometimes it's more comfortable to talk to somebody else and get an outside opinion on things so that's what we do on here i appreciate you guys being here for each other thank you for being here for me as always it means the whole world if you're new here go ahead and subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all these lyrics the instrumentations we got a music video for this one i do believe very excited for this. It says here in the top description on the lyric sheet that this details a man's decision to leave a girl after she cheats on him. We're going to have one of those nights, eh? We'll see what they go with for this. Maybe angry, sad, a mixture of both. We'll see which direction this goes. And it could go a lot of different ways depending on the personality of the person that has been cheated on, right? And the decision that has been made. So we will see how this goes on this topic. Malcolm, I appreciate your request. Thank you so much. You guys request so much awesome music on here that allows us to dive into so many important issues and discuss many different topics of life. We get to talk about a lot of different things. I get to tell stories about things that I've been through from time to time. It's a great time, great way to get to know each other. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you if you're new here. We're going to get into this. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Rodriguez. Crucify your mind. Mmm. Classic vibe. Wow. Was it a huntsman or a player that made you pay the cost that now assumes relaxed positions and prostitutes your love? Were you tortured by your own thirst in those pleasures that you seek? That made you Tom the Curious, that makes you James the Weak. Oh, no. oh. Oh. oh boy. Oh, the approach that he took. He said, he said, I'm gonna make you think about it. That's the approach that we've taken here. This is like the stuff that you the questions that you see getting asked and the statements you see getting made on like the podcasts, right? <laughs> Where they're talking to like people who don't want to settle down for marriage and shit like that and want to run around hoeing and stuff. This is the kind of questions that they ask inside of those a lot of the time. But he's doing this in song form and this is an older song, it sounds like as well. Very classic vintage sound to this. But he's asking questions that will actually make you think about what has been done inside of the situation. And this is one of the greatest approaches I've ever seen to one of the songs about unfaithfulness, cheating on a person, being cheated on. Man, listen to this right here. <laughs> he said, was it a huntsman or a player that made you pay the cost? that now assumes relaxed positions and prostitutes your loss. Wow. Wow. Saying it's a win for him in all ways, essentially, but you're going to lose everything over it. That's why he's in relaxed positions. Jesus, a lord. This is deep right here. So were you cheat tortured by your own thirst and those pleasures that you seek that made you Tom the Curious that makes you James the Weak? Mm, man. Are those movie? Well, Tom the Curious could be Tom the Cat. 
from Tom and Jerry, possibly, right? Mmm. That makes you James the Weak. I bet you these are references to TV shows or something, possibly, or slang, right? It could be slang as well. I'm not sure what they mean, but you guys know we get a lot of references inside of these songs sometimes, so... It could be one he came up with himself just to describe the situation, and if so, if that if that's just one that he came up with himself, no outside reference at all, fucking awesome, that made you Tom the Curious, that makes you James the Weak. Mm. Wow. He's asking questions here, man. He's asking those questions that make you think about what's happened in this situation. And like I said, these are the kind of things that they talk about on a lot of those podcasts, right? And they, oh, they get heated, man. Those, the, those discussions get fucking heated. You ever go watch one of those? It is. Can't stick around for long, unfortunately. I don't like that energy sticking to me very much. <laughs> Oh, man. That's the unfortunate reality of where we are now, though. That's just how it is. And hey, I mean, freedom to do what you want to do with yourself. But you do have to know that it, it's not going to feel very nice later on, necessarily. If you do it for your whole life, you'll get stuck there. And it's not the best way to be looked at later on in life i would say it's a more of a later on kind of thing because it's like everyone will be like oh we're young now who cares blah 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 but then if you keep doing all of those things and continue being wild and crazy like that and don't get that opportunity to sort of settle a little bit with somebody then it's going to be really hard to find later on because a lot of people have already settled. So there's also less options inside of the age range and everything like that now, right? You guys know what I mean. It's fucking complex and crazy, but that's kind of the reality of it. And they don't like to think about it ending up there, right? <laughs> But he's asking all these questions. He's saying, were you tortured by your own thirst? He said, "Are you? were you that? He said, you were so tortured by it that you couldn't resist it. You couldn't just come home to me and get it from me. He's like, you were so tortured by it in the moment that... <laughs> You so, so you were seeking out those pleasures. Look, this shit got me fucking baffled because it's so deep. What he's written, how he's written this right here, Malcolm. I understand why you wanted me to get a hold of this one. This is emotionally tasking right here. To be completely honest, <laughs> it's a very deep conversation. There's a lot of layers to how these things play out in life. But yeah, he's just like, you are so tortured in the pleasures that you seek. <clears throat> you made Tom curious. And you made James weak. That's what he's saying, right? He's like, Tom couldn't contain the curiosity. James was too weak to say no. Tom and James might be homies, for all we know. Unfortunately, right? It could be that kind of situation. People that they know, even. Ah, <sighs> Lord. Yeah, and that is a huge reality in society nowadays. There is a huge lack of faithfulness and a large surplus of lust, unfortunately. <sighs> Something we need to work on. It's not a good direction to take the world, and it starts to take away from love on a certain level whenever people are just viewed as that by each other. It becomes kind of dangerous on an emotional spectrum, right? Damn, this opened up a hell of a conversation right here. I wasn't expecting to talk about this tonight. I did not have anything planned on this topic tonight, but we've arrived here. Malcolm, thank you for opening up the door to talk about this a bit, because it is something that I think we need to work on 
I'm not saying you have to be like, oh, settle down with one person and not out having fun if that's what you're into or whatever. People are into their own things, but you guys know what I mean. I think it's kind of important to still have some kind of fundamental thing with a person that you care about and love at some point because it's beneficial to your life if you can find the right energy inside of a person that matches with yours. I think it's very important to not let that slip away for purposes of wild and free-spirited purposes, right? That's what I'm getting at. I think you have to think about it at some point. And that's what he's talking about right here. He's just talking about, like, do you realize where this goes for you later, right? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Sharing a cigarette. <laughs> and you claim you got something going. Mm. Something you call unique. Ah, oh, I know what he's saying. But I've seen yourself pretty showing. Damn, that's As the tears roll down your cheeks. Empty stare right there. That's a great acting in the video, right? That's an empty stare right there. This, I like what he said here. This is about the later. <laughs> he said, and you claim you got something going. Another person, right? Another situation. Something you call unique. Yeah, he's saying you call it different. You say it's special. You say it's unique and fun. Right? But I've seen yourself pretty showing as the tears roll down your cheeks. Right? He's like, I've seen the effect of this on you. I, cl I know that it's not okay inside. He's like, I saw what it did already. Right? <laughs> He's like, I know that you feel that inside. Even though you say it's something unique. He's like... It doesn't take away from what got fucked. Literally. Right? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's how it is sometimes in life, man. That's just the situation people put themselves in. Especially when they're younger. It's a very bad decisions get made in relationships when people are young. Unfortunately, you're just immature to love. And slightly emotionally immature in a lot of ways. And it takes a while for people to come into their full personalities and understanding of life and the emotions of life and everything like that. Sometimes it takes people a little while and they end up making those poor decisions and hurting people, hurting their own self in the process. It's like whenever a person's doing it, it's like a really heartless kind of act whenever it happens. And then you realize that if you, well, if you have a heart inside of you, right, you realize that and then you feel terrible about it. So both ends are, t are a shitty end of the stick to end up on because you're both going to deal with the emotions of it. And that's what he's saying here. He's like, yeah, I see you with your new thing, your new thing you're clicking with. But I saw the self-pity and the tears that rolled down your cheeks. I already know. <laughs> he's like, you can't. You can't put on the front with me when it comes to your new piece. That's what he's saying. He's like, because I know how you feel about it all deep down. It's already been seen and already been heard. Very great song right here. I love this song. It's got an amazing vibe. His voice is very soothing and very amazing. I like the guitar inside of this. It's just got this really calm vibe. And it's about some serious emotional stuff and real shit that happens in life. And I appreciate that, the realness that he kept it at with the questions asked in the verse and everything. Let's see where else he takes this. Mm, I like that. Soon you know I'll leave you and I'll never look Man. behind. Cause I was born for the purpose that crucifies your mind So can't convince your mirror as you've always done before Giving substance to shadows, giving substance evermore This is the most 
kind diss track I've ever heard in my life. He just politely told her to go get fucked. That's what he said there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was so elegantly put. He said, soon you know I'll leave you and I'll never look behind because I was born for the purpose that crucifies your mind. So con. He, oh my god. So con. Convince your mirror. Whew. Beautiful wordplay. Beautiful wordplay right there. That's solid writing. That's really witty. It's a triple. Like, so con, as in, you lie, you tricked me, right? And then I got you. You know, I got you all caught up in it. He says, so you're a con. He said, but con your mirror. Lie to the mirror and lie to yourself. He said, convince your mirror when you're looking at yourself. It's like, oh my god, the layers. It's like a mirror image. That fucking line itself is a mirror, right? That's beautiful right there. I like that. It says, so con, convince your mirror as you've always done before, giving substance to shadows, giving substance evermore. <sighs> giving substance to shadows. Oh, boy. <sighs> Giving something, man. Wow. He's saying that. Wow. He's saying giving substance to shadows, giving meaning to things that should be unseen is essential. Oh, yeah. Mm. He's saying you gave it to them when I was right there and they were but a shadow. Yeah. Wow. This is elegant, man. What a diss. This is a proper diss right here. <laughs> he really, really gently said, go get bent, man. Wow. <laughs> Lord. And it's a video, man. And you assume... You got something to offer <laughs> Secret shiny in you But how much of you is Holy repetition? Shit. Holy fuck That you didn't shit, whisper bro. to him too <laughs> Oh he didn't say that part nice Oh my god he didn't say that part nice at all bro I'm shook he said, and you assume you got something to offer secrets shiny and new, but how much of you is repetition that you didn't whisper to him too? They talk. That's on the podcast, guys. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> that conversation is the biggest one. It's the... All the same. All the same. Predictable. Right? That's what he's saying. He's like... All of you, to, to just say it bluntly, he's like, all of you hoes that aren't loyal and running around like this don't have anything special to offer to anyone that you arrive at, and it's going to end the same way for them, and they're just going to have to learn the lesson, too. Wow, my guy. <laughs> I must say, this is probably my favorite like, song about this topic ever. This kind of topic. The cheating topic and breakup song. <sighs> A very, very elegantly written diss track where he properly told her the emotional side of how all of this is going to go, even for the other person that she has gone to and for her. Everything is repetition, he says. God, Lord, damn, man. <laughs> yes, sir, he's sailing off, right? Sail away, my friend. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, boy. All seriousness, this was a properly emotional song, and I, I appreciate 
what he did with it. It's so well written. Wow. All jokes aside, this is, uh, like I said, this is my favorite I've ever heard of this type of song right here. For sure. This is amazing. I love this song. Malcolm, thank you for this. This is an amazing song, seriously. Holy shit, man. Hey, we got to talk about some fun stuff in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was interesting. Very interesting. I'm glad we got to talk about that stuff. It was an interesting talk. I've never talked about that really on here before. Maybe touched on it a time or two, but never like that. So I appreciate this. We got into something new tonight that we've never really discussed much of. We've discussed cheating, but not some of the other things that we touched on a bit in here. So, yeah, this is really awesome. Open the door for a cool conversation. Unfortunate that it happens and that we have to deal with that in life and we make those mistakes in life sometimes. You gotta learn from it and be better, right? If you ever have done that, just be better and don't ever do it again, honestly. Just keep it like that. Yeah, keep it like that, man. Just be better and don't do it again. The original video will be in the description. As always, support all the artists we have on the channel. It's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world. Discuss the topics inside of the lyrics. Like I said, this one was really interesting. I'm glad we got to have that conversation. Very different kind of conversation than usual. I appreciate you guys building a community with me here where we can talk about all the mental health issues, the addiction, provide a space where we can feel comfortable to talk to each other about our problems and seek some help from outside people that might have been through those things in life and have overcome them and know some advice to give you or what directions to point you in to get you the proper help that you need. That's what it's all about on here. It's helping each other out, building a community where we can be united and spread some love and positivity every day. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for everything. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vikasa Coffee. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Have a beautiful one. Thanks for everything. Peace.